Now we talked about the pattern. Let's talk technology. The technology to implement service discovery, at least the one that Spring Cloud uses and it integrates with, is Eureka, and that's what we're going to be exploring today. There are a lot of other technologies that Spring does integrate with, but Eureka is something that's very, very commonly used. Again, this is something that you're probably going to run into when you, when you see some enterprise code. It's very really likely going to be Eureka. I want to talk a little bit about Netflix open source. Eureka is one of those projects that's made open source thanks to Netflix. Netflix is one of the leaders in um, microservice libraries made open source that work well with Spring Boot, that Spring Boot has uh, adopted, the Spring Framework has adopted. They created a bunch of different libraries. I think I have uh, just a handful of them which are applicable in our case, but there are a lot more. It started out with Netflix creating those libraries because they needed it, right? They were some of the, one of the pioneers with uh, microservices. They created all those, uh, all their architectures using microservices. And they created these libraries. They made them open source. Eureka, Ribbon, Hysterix, Zool, and a lot more. They were very useful, and a lot of people found them to work well in the context of a Spring Boot application uh, ecosystem. Right? This is something that Spring does very well. Spring has layers of abstraction over technologies that are that work well together, but Spring builds an abstraction so that you don't have to worry too much about the technology. Kind of how it works with JDBC. Spring data templates and Spring, Spring data project itself. There is an API which allows you to use data interactions that are provided by Spring, but you don't mess with JDBC. You use the Spring abstractions, right? And then you can possibly change the underlying technology. Let's say you're using Hibernate. You can probably change that with some other JPA provider, for example, and the Spring code is going to be the same. You just change the configuration, and then Spring is going to manage the rest, right? Spring provides a layer so that you're not aware of. You don't have to be aware of what the technology is underneath. It does the same thing with these technologies as well. So Spring, the Spring community saw these open source technologies and said, hey, this works well in the microservice context, so they built wrappers around this. Right? So there are Spring projects which use these technologies so that you don't have to directly interface with them. You talk Spring, and Spring talks the right languages with these technologies. Make sense? So that's the abstraction layer that we're going to be working with um, when we deal with these technologies. But Netflix is, the source of those technologies is Netflix. It came out of Netflix. And now it's open source, so a lot of other contributors have added to it as well. So we looked at this model, right? This is what we need to do. We have three services. We actually have two services. We have the ratings data service and the movie catalog service. And we're hard coding the URLs. We're going to use Spring Cloud and Eureka to discover those URLs instead of hard coding them. What are the technologies here? We have to create this discovery server. We have to have that layer of abstraction. So we're going to start up the Eureka server. And then we're going to have these individual microservices be Eureka clients. Eureka clients register with the Eureka server. Right, so the steps involved, well, this one has to be Eureka client as well, by the way. The thing that's consuming has to be your Eureka client as well. So Eureka client is doing two things. One, it's telling the Eureka server, hey, I'm here. Let me know if somebody needs me. And then Eureka client can also talk to the Eureka server if it needs something. It's like, I need this service. So it serves two purposes. The Eureka client serves two purposes. The steps involved in making this work is to start the Eureka server, obviously. Have microservices register using the Eureka client. And then have the microservice locate using the same Eureka client, talking to the same Eureka server. 